are you ready to unlock the full potential of twitter ads whether you are a completely newbie or you are looking to refine your existing strategy you have landed in the right place in this comprehensive twitter ads tutorial i'm going to walk you through everything you need to know from account setup to launching a successful campaign let's dive in to run a successful twitter ads one thing you need to get right is choosing the right objective here is my example twitter ads account that i use for videos like this so i want to show you how you can create a compressive twitter ads and a successful twitter ad campaign so first thing we need to do is to go to create campaign when you go to create campaign we have different campaign objective if you are familiar with other platform you know how this platform is and it's quite easy from awareness to consideration and conversion so let's choose sales because we want to generate sales for our product using Twitter ads. So I will select next, then I will select show advanced setting and select switch anyway here. Yeah. So it will take me to the advanced Twitter ad setting so I can set up a robust Twitter ad campaign. I'll give my campaign a name, new life sales campaign. If you are running a lot of campaigns, you need to give your campaign a name so you'll be able to differentiate between different campaigns on your platform. So the next thing I'll move down is campaign budget optimization. I often turn off campaign budget optimization. If I'm running campaigns across different ad sets, different ads. So the whole idea is for Twitter algorithm or the Twitter system to be able to spread my budget across the platform, across ad sets that is performing well and the ones that is not performing well, to be able to optimize my campaign well. So the next thing I need to do is to go to advance. If I go to advance here, I will see, I will leave this as standard recommended. Then I'll select next. Then it will take me to ad group. Under ad group is where you do a lot of targeting, where you target your audience, where you tag, choose the kind of audience you want to target and define them. So I'll also give my ad group a name, which is new life sales campaign. If you are running dynamic product ads you can turn off turn on the dynamic product ad if you are running the bulk this is not what i'm covering in this campaign then i'll go to budget and schedule budget under budget and schedule just select how you want to run your campaign here the start date and end date so let's just say we want to run this campaign for one month so let's leave it as one month then you come down to delivery under delivery is what you want to achieve with your campaign which is your goal we want web conversions we want our campaign to drive conversion on our website basically under web you select web conversions here basically then you go to conversion event when you get to conversion event you select your conversion but you need to set up the conversion event you want to track on your website first and make and make it connected to your website and Twitter. So since we are make, we are trying to get purchase on the website, we will select purchase tracker. If you don't have that set up already, just go to create new here yeah, and create the new event or conversion you want to track and things that is important to you as a business. If I go to bidding strategy, under bidding strategy, you go to you see auto bid, which is recommended and you see target cost maximum bid target cost per action if i move to target cost per action here i often use this target cost per action if i have data of how much it is costing me to get conversion for a business on twitter but if you don't have a data of that and you are just starting out just leave this as auto bid and allow the system to determine how much it will be getting you conversion so the next thing I'll cover is pay by, which is impression. You pay by impression basically, and that's it. And the next thing is placement. Under placement, placement is where you want your ad to be served. How, where do you want your ads to be served? Since you are launching a new campaign and you don't have data, you don't really understand the placement that will perform very well against the one that will perform well. I will say you should leave this placement the way it is and don't touch the placement. The next thing is demographics. When you go under demographics, you determine 
the people you are selling your product to. So my product is for both gender and I would like to select age range. Under age range now, I have, let's say 35 to, let's say 49. Those are the people I want to, I want to sell my product for. And under country, which is location, just put in your location here and leave it the way it is. Under device, I don't often touch any device here because I'm not just saying I want to advertise on any device alone i will leave the old device the way it is and i will not select specific device and this is where it is very very important this is where you will get it right when you are running twitter ads this is what you need to do to get it right it is audiences how you target people on twitter if you have data if you have data of your customers that and you have you understand your cost per acquisition you understand how much it will cost you to get customers that is when you use you use custom audience you understand your customers quite well and you have a database of your customer maybe their name their email address their cost per conversion and all those things you can upload them on twitter and use it to create custom audience that is when you will leverage custom audience here but if you are launching a new campaign what i will do is to target by interest i target by interest and i also target by conversation so let's go to interest. If you go to interest here, so let's say I want to target people who, because I'm selling an health-related product, who are interested in health and awareness. Health and awareness general info. If I go to this place now, I will select life stages. There are people that, they are dad, right? They are mom, newlywed. These are people that I want to target. This, are, this is the way you can build audience on Twitter. Target people based on interest. So you can build this audience the way you like, depending on your budget. But just select interest-based audience that are relevant to your business. Then the next thing I will do is to go to conversation topics. Under conversation topics, I target because Twitter is a conversation platform. A lot of people have conversation there. That is why you have threads and the likes. So I can go to travel. A lot of people talk about travel. When, so when you go to travel, when you type in travel as part of conversation you want to target, you want your ad to show up in travel. You want your ad to show up in conversations in travel. So can you see travel channel, travel news, this is interest, travel show, this is a travel show so i can select this when conversation like this comes up i'll go down a bit again can you see lifestyle cruise travel holiday travel this is how you target people based on conversation topics that they have on twitter these are the way you build relevant audience on twitter when you are running the next thing i'll go to is targeting strategy under targeting strategy just leave it the way it is here leave it as optimized targeting and don't set anything you don't need to be bothered about it then we'll go to ads when we go to ads that is where you upload your creative so under ads again i'll give my ad a name which is new life sales campaign then i'll come to destination the destination of my ad is website i want my ad to be directed to a website if you go to creative type you leave it as media since i want to use a video to promote this ad so under what is happening, that is where you will put your primary text. So I'll, I just have a primary text that I've written here for this product. I'll copy this primary text here and come to this place, paste the primary text of my ad here. Then single or this single media, the single media I want to use is just a video. So I will it's just an image so i'll click on this ad media and select browse media once i select browse media it will take me to to the product i want to sell so let me look through the product i want to sell right now so let's say so let's say this is the product i want to sell basically all let me just pick this then I select my product. So once I select the image of the product I want to advertise here, then you click on confirm. Once you confirm it, you go to call to action. 
Call to action means you want them to buy this product. You want them to shop now. Once you select shop now, your headline, the headline of your ad is very, very important. You come to the headline here. So I'll copy my headline. Once I copy my headline, I come in back here and put the headline here. And also the URL. Once people click on your ad, this is the URL I want you want them to go. You also put the URL of your ad here and you are good to go with setting up of your ad. So this is the look and feel of your of the ad we are about to run and we we have set up everything. This is how this is the look and feel of the ad and everything is now set up and ready to go. If you have any changes you want to make in this ad now the only change we have to is is to add a funding source to this then once you add your funding source you just need to click on next then you publish your ad once you publish your ad your ad is live then you are good to go that is how you can build a successful twitter ad as a beginner i hope this complete twitter ads tutorial has given you the confidence or knowledge you need to get started or level up your existing campaign make sure you are subscribed to this youtube channel for more twitter ad secrets thanks for watching see you in my next video